Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ade Doi. Thank you for tuning in. If it's your first time here, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. And for my returning subscriber, I love you guys. Thank you for always tuning in. Thank you for always putting the lovely comment in the, sec uh, the comment sections. Thank you for always coming back to watch my video. I love you guys. So in today's video, we'll be talking about benefits of being a PR in Canada. Yes, those benefits you will enjoy as a PR in Canada. And if you would love to know more about all those benefits, you know what to do guys? Sit down. Grab a cup of coffee, a cup of water, a cup of juice, or anything around you, and let's enjoy this video. Welcome back, guys. And okay, the reason why I'm doing this topic is I, I remember recently I was talking to some people and we're talking about coming to Canada as a um, student and coming to Canada as a prayer, and they have a lot of things to say. And they were like students and also they have children they, they came with family in short and she, this woman was just talking, talking about our uh, challenges of coming as a student instead of the permanent resident and we me and the other lady that came as peer we're just trying to talk to her and personally i know people around me that want to come to canada that want to relocate and a lot of people are like they can't wait for PR. They can't, you just go to the school route and everything. And uh, most times I always tell them, if you can be patient, you will enjoy the benefit of being a PR. And I just feel I should come out today to just talk about it. Fine, you might want to come as a student, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. But me personally, I just used to feel like, ah, why, would I wait? why would I use that kind of money to come here? And I will not get all those benefits that other people are getting. G gets. It's based on everybody's preference. But in today's video, I just want to talk about the benefits. So that some people, I know a lot of people don't really understand the benefits. They just want to leave the country that they are to relocate to Canada because everybody's doing that or because the economy there is no more good. You just want to rush down. But I just feel there's this video way up in order to, for you to decide well, maybe you should be patient or you should rush. I don't so know. the first thing we'll be talking about is access to work. Like you can work freely anywhere. Apart from the fact that there's some profession that you need to be licensed before you work. As a permanent resident, you don't need a work permit to work in anywhere in Canada. And you, it's so easy for you to get a job as a permanent resident. Based on my personal experience, there's no how I get to, to do an interview with any office. After everything, most things they used to ask is, are you a permanent resident or a citizen? And I think there's another advantage of being a, like they prefer someone that's already in that country, someone that's going to live permanently in the country, not someone that will just come temporarily and just leave their work halfway. Do you get it? And as a permanent resident, it's so easy for you to access different jobs. Yeah. You can, you can decide to work one year, year, and decide to go to another this thing. There's nothing like you are loyal, there's no loyalty here. If you feel you want to get to another level in another month. You can do that because you're a permanent resident. It's so easy for you to change job. Let me just put that way. If you're not comfortable with what you are doing before, it's so easy for you to change job as a permanent resident and you have access to different jobs. Yeah. And the second thing is social benefits like EI, pension, GST payment, tax refund, um, shared benefits, and also rent assist. So guys, here is um, like if you've worked for some number of time or some number of hours, there's a way government um, calculates it and you are you want to give birth, you're pregnant and you want to give birth or you've given birth, you have a free maternity leave with pay. So they'll be paying you while you're at home for one year. You have to take care of a child for one year. Depending on the hours you work. I'll put it on the screen. I can't remember the amount of hours you need to work before you can be qualified for the EI but as a permanent resident that's one of the things you will enjoy and also you will enjoy the JST and also you will enjoy rent assist guys <laughs> you will get rent assist depending on your income yearly you get rent, rent assist and where you are living and also to be qualified for child benefit it depends on the amount you and your, your spouse receive yearly as salary and the amount of children you have 
that's what they will use to calculate the amount you'll be getting yearly. And also, as a permanent resident, if you have um, any issue, maybe you are sick, you are unable to go to work, and there's some good reasons. Like recently, I had an accident, I could not go to work because of the accident because it affects my right hand. And I have to stay off work for more than a month. And I get paid for those hours that I do not go to work. The tax refund, you'll be on whatever grocery you but there's a way they calculate it. And then the tax, you will get some refund with it. So guys, what are we waiting for? Why well, no, if I'm interested? I want to enjoy this because back, back from because of where I come from, I do enjoy those social benefits. I've never had before that they are giving charging a fee. Who sent me to give it? <laughs> As in, it's so it's so sweet. And guys, what are you guys waiting for? Oh my president is a big deal. You have to come as a permanent president. My people, my subscribers, that's why I'm doing this video. Come as a permanent president so you can enjoy all those things. The other thing is family <laughs> sponsorship program. Guys, <laughs> if you have if you are a permanent resident and you've lived in Canada for one year, I think some province in Canada, like obviously Manitoba, Calgary, um, I'm not sure of any other province, but I know I think I'll just put them on the screen. So you guys will know those uh, province that does family sponsorship program. I'll put on the screen. You will, if you live, like I was saying, if you live for one year in Manitoba and some other province in Canada, you will be able to bring in your family. You'll be able to sponsor your family. That means, that means your family will be able to get 50 additional points in that point if they have family in this province and guys that's so sweet you can also sponsor your friend just that the point will not be as high as the point of you sponsoring your family so that means i can bring all my family to this place as the family president that means they have easy access guys what are you waiting for you don't want to bring your family that's why i always say that you should be patient as if you want to come as pr is a long patient and the reason to save a patient dog is the fattest bone in this situation you are surely going to be the fattest bone and the fattest bone are those benefits of coming as a permanent resident and the other thing is you enjoy free universal health care guys you enjoy free health care and it's so funny the way they take their head so serious in this country i remember when we got here after getting our family doctor he told us we have to do some tests and all these tests guys is free you're not paying any money for all these tests i understand that a lot of people complain about um staying long at the hospital and not get, getting doctor or nurses to attend to them i've never experienced that before so i won't be able to talk about that but personally because of recent like i said earlier i had an accident and i enjoyed free health care to the core the extra that i did my frequent visit to the hospital, the physiotherapist that I visited every week. In fact, I still went this week and I'm still going next week. That's, I spent more than a month, close to two months, going to see physiotherapist. And all these things is for free. All those tests that I did, they did it for free without collecting any payment from this. It was free. I've not enjoyed that before. I've not. Since I got to this Canada, that's just been a different story with my ex. Because you, obviously, they call me that I need to do some tests, some blood tests, not because of anything, just because they want to know if I'm fine, if I'm good, and I'm not going to pay. It's free, guys. It is free for my kids. They do the immunization, they do the physical test for them. They even they will be the ones to call you to tell you, okay, you're due for this. You're supposed to do this. Nobody's, everybody cares about you. Like they care about your health. Yeah. So. I asked my friend recently that just they gave birth in Canada a year, in Winnipeg year, and guys, they did not pay a dime. They did not pay a dime for that. And one of my friends was like, they gave them food, they gave them, um, in short, you don't even need to carry any um, hospital, this thing for your children. You will get everything for free there. And guys, what are you guys waiting for? A friend of mine wanted to come here to give birth. In fact, she has gotten a visitor visa. And we were searching for a hospital that she can come to to give birth. And when we saw the price, guys, all this price is so outrageous. 19000 25000 for just 
vaginal delivery, not even CS. And if you are paying, if you are doing CS, that's another additional money on its own. And you cannot spend more than two days or three days in the hospital with just with the amount you've paid. If you spend more than that, you pay additional fee. And also for doctor consultation, visiting of doctor is another money on its own. It's another money entirely. So it's of me using those money. And twenty five thousand dollar is like twenty six or twenty seven thousand twenty seven million in Nigeria. If I have that kind of money, I will use that as my proof of fund. I will not use it to come and give it, guys. <laughs> Serious, I will keep it because that money is too much. Why can't I just keep that money for my proof of fund and and start waiting for when they will pick me from the pool and I will come as a permanent resident, guys? How will I spend twenty five thousand <laughs> dollar? That's much. That's much. Anybody that has that kind of money should be able to just come as permanent resident. You still want to come to Canada? Yes, come as permanent resident, guys. The other thing is that as a permanent resident, you can go in and go out of Canada the way you please. You can visit different countries. Canada's um, PR card can allow you to visit different countries of your choice. And that is where when you could start noticing that people that relocated to Canada, you start noticing that they are going for vacation to this place. This place. You know, you're wondering, like, ah, how come this person, they have the money? Apart from the money, they have the access to go to this place. Or like the country I'm coming from, we have limits to the country we can visit with our passport. But here you can visit those your dream country that you're dreaming about. You don't necessarily need a visa to visit them. If you are a permanent resident in Canada, you have access. Like you can travel anywhere you want to travel to. So far you have your money. So another thing is free and low cost of education. As a permanent resident, your children enjoy free and low cost of education. And when I mean free, there's some government school here that that go, the government school here they don't pay school fee. But even if you're going to pay any fee, it might be for other things, but not school fee. Because I add that there's some schools that you have to pay for, maybe guidance for your children, maybe your children need to eat during the school hours. You pay some money for people that will supervise them, all those little little things. But paying school fee, yeah, no. People does not really pay for school fee. Yeah. And for some of us our children are in daycare, we enjoy subsidy. As a permanent resident, we enjoy subsidy. Instead of you paying $25 every day for daycare, if you are for daycare, if you are qualified, you will be paying $10 per day for daycare instead of $25 per daycare. I'm not talking about people that will take their children to private school if you want to take your children to private school. But sincerely, guys, really, public school here is just like private school from where I'm coming from. You, they are, if, have you seen their building? Have you seen their classes, guys? They have nice school structure and everything. And that is just that one. And also, as a permanent resident, like I said in one of my videos on my channel, you can enjoy free one year daycare. I think that if you apply for it, there's a way you can be qualified for free daycare. I'm enjoying it. I'm still enjoying it. It's, it's almost one year that my children go to free daycare year. Yeah because i'm a permanent resident so there's a program that if you apply for you might be qualified to take your children for to take your children to free daycare i'm not paying any money for any daycare since i got it to this place i've been enjoying this one year another daycare, thing another one year easy pathway to citizenship guys as a permanent resident it's so easy for you to become the citizen to become a citizen of canada in five years and also, if you've not if you've not lived Canada for three years straight, you can become a citizen of Canada in three years if you've not stepped your foot out of Canada at all within that three years. But if you go often and often, but you stayed for five years, that's they will calculate it for you. You can become a citizen within that five years. So what are you what are you waiting for? Because I know that as a student, you still have to get a course that you know that okay, you can work after. You finished the course. There's some course that if you do here in Canada, you might not be able to work after, and that's another problem. So you need to know those schools that they have DLA. I guess it's DLA, this college, and do those courses that you know that okay, you can be able to get a job 
then you stay, then you start filing for your PR, then after PR, you start filing for citizen. That's a long journey, guys. So I think being a permanent president makes it easy for you. Just come here and start enjoying the fruits of the land. And the last thing I'll be talking about is financial stability. Guys, as a permanent resident, you enjoy a lot of financial stability. Like I've said earlier, those benefits that government will be giving you will help you to save your own salary, to be able to plan ahead. You no, know? and it's so easy for you to even if you have a good credit history, it's so easy for you to get a house, it's so easy for you to get a car at the financing if you have a good credit history. And as well as a permanent resident, then you open your uh you open your account, you will get 2,000, 1,000 credits on your credit card that you can use. And you'll be able to, it's so easy for you to be able to plan need credit score, even if you are using your credit card. There's a way, you have to return this, guys. Please, return your credit card. It's not for free, like I've said in some of my videos. It's not free. But you'll be able to plan ahead. If I'm getting this car, I'll be able to pay this, 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 there's always this, um, I don't know I'm going to put it, but there's always this, um, way you can pay, you can finance your car. They've done this breakdown for you. They will check your salary, your spouse salary, how much you can be qualified for, what you can buy. They will help you to, to plan your life. You don't just do it any other. Okay, I want to buy Benz 2024 model, 2025 model. You will have to check your credit history, your salary. I find it interesting. It's so easy to get your house here. So far, you have good credit score. I have friends that within six months they got house. I have one that within three years they got house. I have one within four years. Depend on what you want, guys. I have one that immediately she got here, within three four months she got her house. Depending on what the cash you have before coming to your con from your country, and your credit history, and all those and help. Another thing you can enjoy as a permanent resident is those um those support that government has put down for you there's some organization that government has laid down for you as a parent just wants to come in they will help you to settle in you know like all those um manitoba stats employer up i got my free ticket from employer up i know those charity organizations that like there's some charity organization that will ask for your health card because as a permanent resident, you need an internet card. I don't know if a student needs an internet card. I'm not sure. But you know, all those benefits you can enjoy from those organizations that government has put down for you as a permanent resident. You can enjoy those things as a permanent resident and as a citizen. So guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And do you still want to come to Canada? Of course, yes. Start coming, guys. And, and please don't forget that a patient dog is the fattest bone. Please be patient with your necessary um, qualification or everything you need to have a higher point in your express entry or your PMP. Just do those necessary things. Be patient. Some people, some, some people start their PR journey within a year and then they got to Canada in that one year. Why some people, people did not get their own uh did not get to Canada after five, four years of the whole process. So your case might be different. Don't say because because I have a lot of people that will say, ah, it's because the process is long. It's not everybody's process that will be long. Just start first. Start from somewhere, guys. Start from somewhere and come here to enjoy those benefits, guys. Come here and enjoy those benefits. Let's enjoy those benefits together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If if you've watched it to this end, please don't forget to put the thumbs up and also put some comments in the comment section i'd love to read from you i want the conversation to continue from the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed subscribe like like, like i've said and turn on the notification bell and i will see you in my next video bye